Hello everyone and welcome to the 18th episode of the 8-Brick Game Chat. As always, I'm your host Tom Powder. Joining me is my illustrious crew, Tom Roach and Matt Stevens. Hello. So guys, what have we been playing lately? <coughs> Go. Splatoon. Funnily enough. Yeah, I've been playing a bit of Splatoon. Yeah, a bit of Splatoon, mainly. Splatoon and The Witcher 3 still. Still playing The Witcher 3. But, yeah, I love Splatoon. Yeah, Splatoon's excellent. I've taken a bit of a break from The Witcher 3 actually, but you on the other hand. Yeah, I've sort of taken a break from Splatoon. Not because I think it's bad, but I just because I think I'm quite close to finishing the story of the Witcher. Your fruit. opinion on the Witch has changed somewhat since yes, that last it has. Um, but I think it do, it did get it took time getting used to, and I thought it would, and I sort of appreciate the open world now. But I will still say it is the glitchiest game I've ever played. No, ever. I won't say that. Yeah, no, I don't think it's a glitch. Oh, I'm definitely like, it's, it is quite yeah. buggy though. No, it's but not for my chance, personally, it is for me. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's plenty of uh, glitchy games over the last couple of years that I've played and just been like, nope. Yeah, but the game's crashed for me, then it freezes. Yeah, it's frozen for me as well. It's only frozen for me once. Yeah, Characters' exactly. faces are disappearing, falling through the floor. That sounds really bad. You should get like on the patches and stuff. Yeah. They're done automatically. Mine's not that bad. Connect to the internet, aren't they? I hope. Well, yeah. As long as you've got. It should be. Yeah. I mean, I don't think automatic downloads affects patches. It might do, I suppose. Well, I'll look into that. But still, um, in, even with all the glitchy stuff, it's alright. And I did play. I can't remember what it's called. I played it about 20 minutes ago. Great. That must be memorable. It's the zoo game we got on PS Plus this month. I mean, I'm not playing the Ground Zeroes on yeah. that. You mean you're not playing Ground Zeroes again? Well, I, I've i basically completed it. So I don't need to. Fair enough, fair enough. I haven't got every trophy, but I've done every mission and as much as I care to do. I guess I'll have to play that at some point. What, Ground Zeroes? Yeah. I might download it because it's free though. Yeah, well, exactly. I wouldn't yeah. buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of PS Plus games, I've been playing Race the Sun a lot lately. Race the Sun's yeah. really good. Race the Sun is quite good actually. It is good. I have quite enjoyed that. I reached the region sort of half an hour I played on it. The, it's uh, really good. It's really addictive. So you said you reached the region, right? Yeah. It's hell, isn't it? Yeah, it's hell. I died almost straight away. I went, I went through the little gateway though that takes you into the asteroid field. And yeah. You get loads of uh, tries out. Oh, well, I don't think I've got that far. I was, just, I was half an hour when I think I played it, got up to region 2 or something. It's no, good. I, it's it's really right. addictive. It is good. I've got. I need two more trophies to get all of them. One's get five million points. That's hard. The other one is get to region four in apocalypse. And you need to get the click, the amount of tries. Oh yeah, so three. Yeah. But yeah. I've got to hit a million. Uh, get to round six without doing any damage. That's quite impressive. Yeah. Done hit the clouds level twenty five. Um, it's a fun game. Like I've spent a good five six hours playing. Yeah, it's good. So. It's different, and it's not a game you'd think would be that interesting. But well, it's very arcadey. Yeah, it reminds me of. Um, I remember when uh, iPhone uh, I Touches came out. Yeah. There was this uh, cube. I can't remember what the name of the game was, but it was exactly the same. You was, you know tilted left and right, but it was one of the very first um, you know good apps on the iPhone. Touch. Yeah. Yeah, one of the new PS Plus games is a bit like Race the Sun, but you've got a gun and it's not as good. Ah, uh, okay. Any platinums on the new PS Plus game? Um, the Sue game has a platinum. Going for it? No, so <laughs> I, I got an easy goal. Have you uh, have you have you lost uh, the trophy yeah, hunting um, mm. vibe or whatever? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's way out in front now, so he doesn't care. It's just like, oh, I can't be fucked with these fuckers anymore. <laughs> no, it's just, <laughs> I want to play games now. Like, I want to play The Witcher, and I know I'm not going to plan them. Though. Good. So, um, there's games well, I'm going to play. Well, not good that you're not going to plan them, but good that you want to play games for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, cool. So, our main topic this week is going to be discussing our thoughts on Splatoon, uh, Nintendo's first proper new first party IP for like, the last 14 years. Uh, and basically it's their take on the online shooter, it's 4v4 arena battles. Uh, personally I think it's really unique. I really love Splatoon. Um, came out last Friday in, in this country? Yeah, it was last Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So we've had a bit of time to get used to it now. Um, I'm almost level 13. I might be level 13, I'm not sure. I am I am level 13. Yeah. yeah. I'm still level 11, but I've put Splatoon aside just to play the Witcher. But I still love Splatoon, don't get me wrong. So. 
We may as well start with the online since it's the most important bit. Roach, what do you think? Um, online, it's great. It has there's some minor issues. Like what? Well, I think you'll agree. No voice chat. Yeah. That is what breaks the game. From not making it a voice chat. It doesn't. Nothing breaks the game. Voice chat isn't the thing I miss in the most. But we get yeah. it. Yeah, but I just think that there's been agree. so many times I've played it. And because I can't communicate to people, like for example, on the mall level, I will run up with the paint roller and some guy with a gun will follow me. Mm. Yeah, and that's, that's just a waste. He's wasting my time and he's wasting his time. He's probably trying to score points off your turf, to be fair. Yeah. But if we want to win and get 300 bonus points, yeah, exactly. he, he should see I, I'm a roller, I get to cover a lot of ground quickly. Yeah. And if if we could have chat, I would say we would say fuck okay. off. Yeah. I, I wouldn't no. bitch. <laughs> I wouldn't quite say that, but I'd probably be able to communicate to the team what I think we should do. Like we've spoken about strategies, yeah, and you know, but not being able to communicate to people how you think the best way of winning is is really annoying. Yeah, and that really it doesn't as I say, it doesn't break the game, but it's it's really. I definitely agree with you. It, yeah. it shows Nintendo's lack of understanding yeah. and their infancy yeah. of the online. And of the online space where they bring out not just a shooter, a team-based, small, uh, close quarters shooter without any strat uh, strategic yeah. or challenge. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not what I think is the biggest problem. No, but what, what do think you think? It's going to be the same yeah, as you. That's why I'm asking. What do you think? Now, I'm not too bothered about the lack of voice chat in just the public area. You know, going in and playing public against people that you don't really know. To me, it's like, whatever. I don't want to talk to those people. <laughs> like, I just want to sit there and play the game. Game chat used to be all the rage. But, well, it did used to be all the rage. Way back before parties were And then it got screwed over, which yeah. is the reason why Nintendo don't have it. But, but the thing that I want is the ability to talk to me or my friends in a party with voice chat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so mine, mine's not... I yeah. want party parties is the biggest parties thing. with voice chat on as well. Voice so chat we, would be a voice chat would be nice, but with parties, Skype, you know, that is true. But that's yeah. the reason they said they didn't include it is because they don't want people like abusing. That's why they didn't do voice yeah. chat. But if you've got like parties, you're inviting people you know exactly. and want to play. Yeah. With. But not only that, most game modern shooters have a mute button on, on individual players, so yeah. that's the problem really. But and they also have uh, parents who control, so you yeah. parents can just turn it off. It's just Nintendo not understanding. Again, they feel, they feel like it's got to be one or the other. Yeah. But um, yeah, definitely parties. That's yeah. my parties. that's my biggest issue. Why can't you just team up with your friends? You can join a friend's game very easily. And that's something they've got down to a T with like Mario Kart and everything. But Mario Kart, you never on teams anyway. Yeah. Splatoon, they swap the teams every match. It's yeah, stupid. we can be against each other yeah. or with each other. Or Which or usually against each other, actually, yeah. I think I've found. Um, definitely needs fast. to be like... The thing is, it wouldn't even be too hard. I mean, I'm not a game designer, so I don't know. But I, I feel like all you would do is you would just take the join your friend yeah. system and just apply it to a team. Yeah. So you need to make sure you've got. Well, no. Basically, all you do is get two friends, you know, minimum of another friend into a team of four, and then that party just searches for two other players. It's funny though, because this was the same situation that. Um Plants vs. Warfare, Gone War. Plants vs. Zombies. Zombies, Gone <laughs> Warfare, um, stuff and so on. Oh, really? Yeah, don't you remember? We could really struggle to get on a team together. Oh, yeah. Because we'd join and then we'd on opposite teams and we're like, right, let's switch teams so we yeah. make sure we're on the same. And that was. So, and it seems to be that sort of game that has these problems. Oh, yeah, I still stand by that Splatoon's actually very similar in a lot of ways to Gone Warfare. Yeah, it's old, like, yeah like which it. is no bad thing. No, not at all. So, what do you think of the mic, Poe? I mean, I love it. It's great, fast paced, um, high in high intensity in the game. Yeah. Um, I'm loving Splat Zones. Yeah, I've only played like a couple of games. I'm I'm really loving Splat Zones. Um, more much more than Turf Wars. Really? Yeah, yeah. There's like I feel like I'm better at Splat Zone. Okay. I've not done um, Splat Zone yet. Yeah. We just, need to go on it. I mean, just go around like. And everything. I'm better having a target rather than just meandering around yeah. painting shit. Um, 
just sitting there, you know, defending these two points or this one yeah. point. And do you feel like you're so more encouraged much. to kill people as well? As well exactly, as well. yeah, and yeah. I enjoy that. <laughs> How sociopathic does that sound? Yeah. Like you're more encouraged to kill people. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think Splatoon is deceptively intense. intense. Yeah. Like they, they, they market this as like a game for kids, but it's crazy online. Three minute rounds are just mental. And I find like you're always trying to just rush to make sure you can do yeah. as much as you can. And I, I actually... And when we played the Global Test Fire the first time, I was like, three minutes is a bit short. Like, I'm just, just getting into it, and it seems to be over. Over. But, like, that was because I wasn't very good at the game, and so like, I started off crap. And by the end of the three minutes, I was getting slightly used to it, and I was like, yeah. it's over yeah. now. Yeah. But in this one, I'm, I've gotten a little better at the game, so I feel like it's exciting the whole way through. What I found is when doing the Global Test Fire, I was really focused on just covering that ground. Like, I was going around inch by inch covering it, mm. where now I will literally just fire run straight into the middle, so I'm yeah. right in there, in the middle, um, covering that set middle yeah. ground, because that's the most important thing to, to claim and keep. Yeah, that's what I do with, uh, that's basically my strategy with the uh, Smash or Junior, is just to go forwards, relatively irregardless of covering ground, and just force my way into their area. Yeah. I'm a get up high, shoot down. Oh, you're now, aren't you? I'm... Right, what's your favorite mm -hmm. weapon to move on to that? Mine's still the squad, uh, at least, chair. Is it Jet Squelcher? Squelcher, I think it's yeah, the one that looks like the car wash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jet Squelcher. Um, but I've just unlocked the uh, uh, Splatterscope. Nice. And I've done one game of it. Okay. And I like it. Okay. We're working on it. We're going to see. Yeah. <laughs> mine's, probably, mine's probably still the Splash Shot Junior. Mm. And that's mainly because it covers ground nicely. Fast firing. But I really like the specials it comes with as well. It's, uh, the specials are good. Really well equipped. I also like the aero spray machine gun. If you've used that before, it's like the metal looking gun with the tank oh, on the yeah, top. Yeah, it's just really fast. That. I have used that. But I think the specials are a bit rubbish. I think I've just um, unlocked the golden one of that. Oh, nice, nice. Um, I haven't bought it yet, but I've unlocked it. You're still a roller user. Yeah. Um, for me, because I've only used two weapons. The standard is it the splatter shot, the first weapon you've given. That's the junior, I think. Yeah. That and the roller. I got the roller because that sort of appealed to me when we saw the um, direct. Yeah. And I I think I'm best with it. I think the way I play accompanies that weapon really well. Mm. And I like using the Kraken as the um, ability. Yeah, Kraken's powerful. Kraken is powerful. Um, go on. No, it's just um, that whole... Well, as you were saying about three, three minutes gameplay, which I... I did use, I agree, I think it was like, oh, this is too short, but then you realise this is a sprinting race, essentially, yeah. rather than like a marathon, yeah. and every second counts because it's yeah. so short, yeah. and I, it's very competitive, and I think the whole, I think this is such a unique game, and it's very competitive, and I'd really like to see real game, because everyone would would go, oh, this is for kids. Yeah. But I think this could be a proper test of your online... Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. I think the game is very fair. Like... I, I think, yeah. I it's, think it's, it's actually quite well balanced. I remember thinking that the roller was really overpowered in the Global Test 5, but it's just... It's it not. was overpowered in the Global Test 5. I don't yeah, think it's, it's been changed, though. Uh, no, it's not been changed. But that's the thing. The reason it's not uh, overpowered anymore is because we've got other weapons to use. Yeah, I suppose so, but I, then, I think I it's just the unbalance. I think it's just the unbalanced in the three Maybe, uh, yeah. main, you know, uh, guns. But when you start to include all these other guns that you get and all these other specials, yeah. I think it becomes a little less um you know, yeah. troublesome. I do think it is fair because like the the roller will use ink up a lot quicker. Yes. And you have yeah. to take more time to so in the same amount of time, you could cover an equal amount and of And that's ground. the thing, you have to stop as a roller to recover back. Uh, yeah. game you can't yeah. just keep going forward like you would do if you were, um, well, splats or junior, yeah. you know, that, doing a splats or shot or anything like that. Shoot the ground, jump in it, just kind exactly, of keep yeah. going forwards, yeah, exactly. So, do you have a favourite map? Um, have you played the new one, Port, Ma Port Mackerel? No. You played Port Mackerel? I have played Port Mackerel, only two games so far. Yeah, I've not played off much either. It's all right. I actually think it's my least favourite map. My least favourite is my least um, favourite. Street uh, skate park. That's your least really? favourite. Wow. I love it. Yeah, Black Ray Skate Park's awesome. 
I like the mall and I like the mall, yeah. Urchin underpass, I like. To be honest, I like all of them. Uh, Port Mackerel's the first I've been on that I thought this is actually a bit boring. Because mm. it's literally just straight lines. And yeah, then it is. it's like a cross hatch. I was, but I there was are like little cars maybe, that come past, you I was, can get up. Yeah, and I was, it's a bit. When I saw the image, I thought, oh, this looks interesting. Cause you've yeah. got the up bit, you can go up. And, but actually, you've got those two sides which you can stay at the top, which is actually where I stayed, really. Mm. Um, it's very good for snipers, Port exactly. Mackerel. Yeah, that's what I was using. But. Okay, I think there are much better maps coming in the future. Yeah, I um, mean, to me, there's no standout maps yet. Completely yeah, probably. Not to be stand out. I, 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 I really, really like Salt Spray Rig. I hate Salt Spray Rig. No, I quite like that. Salt Spray, I think Salt Spray Rig is really good. I don't like that. I don't like the rig. Um, because I don't know why. That's the issue. I think it's I a really think, well made map. I think, I think it's because. Where, okay, there is two defined ends, mm. kind of, but it's sort of like too far on the edge of that. Like, it's all... I, I well, they're all symmetrical. Yeah, oh, it's all symmetrical, that's fine. But to me, it seems like this doesn't feel as if you've got two people, two groups of people going head on. It feels a bit all over the place, like me. Well, that's me, interesting. That, that, it, that map. I know they're all symmetrical, but that map to me doesn't feel symmetrical. Yeah, I feel the same in a way. Because yeah, it goes down and underneath the other yeah. pathways. Yeah, yeah. I but see, that's cool. I like that. Well, that part, you can just jump cool, off the path. It's kind of like... I don't I disagree with you like, saying there's no hell like, battle. I feel like I'm on my own a lot on that map. Interesting. Compared to the others. Interesting. Because I'll look at it and I'll see, right, you've got that down bit area and you've yeah. got that top area at the right far back. That's where everyone tends to come together for a So middle. everyone seems to come together in that middle bit where yeah. the all the paths come into each other. And then the victor yeah. takes the big square at the back. Yeah, and you've got this big square at the back. But I feel like, because I, I cover that and I'm like, okay, that bit needs covering, so I'll go back around. Yeah, I, I guess that. So. And then I go back around yeah. and cover that and I'm just like, I feel like I'm just going backwards and forwards. Yeah. Um, Wall and warehouse is good. The warehouse, I like the warehouse actually. That possibly is my favourite one. Yeah. What do you think? I've not. Can remind you me. You probably what? have played on it. You're in a warehouse. You start off and then there's you can go you can either go straight forwards, which is obviously where you'll meet the enemy, or you can go down the sneaky little side passages. No, I don't know. I've played this. Really? You, you were, must you have played were, it. You were, if you're level, <laughs> and I just don't. Know. It's, it's basically not, unless when you go it's in, never been you available. Were, when he's been playing. Mm, possibly, yeah. <laughs> it's possible. You've got two crates and you've got these yeah. cardboard things on the crates. There's just a big there. open area in the middle like with random crates started about and then you can go up slight ramps to get to your enemy side. No, I've not played that one. Mm, fair enough, fair enough. I'm going to find a picture of it. Yeah. Right. Urchin underpass is good though, yeah. But actually that's that's a little bit unremarkable as well, I think. Although, I have a distinct strategy for urchin underpass. Which is, um, as soon as you start, go off to the little side ramp through the grating and then go down that way yeah and then you end up over the middle section chucking a bomb that's it yeah for me I, I kind of like how because you don't get so many maps you can really learn yeah strategies I do like that actually that works quite well um yeah that's what I wear house no I've not played that you've not played this at all no really so that map that looks like that no, I've not played it. It was in the, uh, I mean, the uh, global test fire. Yeah, I didn't play the test fire. You no. certainly played the salt spray rig. Yeah, I've played the salt spray. <coughs> salt spray is really good. And I played. Um, I played all of them. Bar that. Fair enough. Cool. Wow. Fair enough. Yeah, you've got that. Yeah. Good <laughs> test. Um, but yeah, I'm very very happy with the multiplayer actually, and the, the fact that all of like, the coming DLC is free is excellent in my opinion. Um, well, that's the only thing that could sort of help the game because if they were charging for new maps, I mean the game wasn't too expensive considering like I paid for. It retails about thirty five. I do yeah. feel like slightly that this was a game plan straight away that were like right, how do we do this so we can release yeah, this game was. slightly early but still give them loads of stuff. Yeah, which is surprisingly I mean, cool. savvy actually for it. It's for really savvy to do with online. And the fact that they're still just giving it to us yeah. is like, okay, fine, you know, I've not got a problem. We go have to wait. I'm pretty actually, sure it's ever a mass a week. Yeah, which but is we still nice. get access to all these games, this yeah. game, and it's, which is great. Um, do you think but yes, hopefully by Monday we should have a we might have a new map. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, do you think Port Mackerel's this week, right? 
Mm. Do you think they'll start charging for maps this year? Um, maybe. I, I think we'll like, get a reveal at E3, a big DLC pack. Yeah, I, th- I think we will get a DLC pack and it will be the first paid package. Yeah, possibly. But as long as we get about... So I reckon they end up being... How many is confirmed? Do we know? Um, I think there's apparently meant to be... 16? No, enough to make about... Yeah, enough to make about 13 altogether, so... So I reckon 16 so. free maps, I think. That would be good. And then if they were... 16 good. maps is a lot for an online yeah. game. That's... Um, but I think Nintendo should that's, do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's probably... Yeah, a little... They need to ditch the two rotation, though. Yeah. I don't like that. I, I, I don't know if it's going to happen, if I'm honest. Um, it's really silly. Just, just it's... bring two up and let people vote for them, like or anything else. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, it's, it's a stupid system. It is a stupid system. But two is just too little. Yeah. If they were going to use this system, okay, fine. Let us have four, mate. Yeah. You know, something that will vary the uh, the uh, four hours that we've got to sit and wait. Rather than well. getting th- like th- uh, the same map five times six times in a row. You do just think, uh, five games in, do I want to carry on? I honestly feel like Sometimes. that's why um, the maps aren't that stand out. Because you get so used to playing the same yeah, one. You, you get so used to playing the same one every time it makes the map mean less annoyed. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, I just feel like there's some essence missing from these maps mm. that only a few games have really, you know, actually managed to pull off. Um, just how uh, the maps are laid out. Yeah. Like, you know, variations of height, variations of... Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that's probably where the Salt Spray Week is actually probably quite good. Salt Spray Week is awesome. Um, but for me, I don't like it. <laughs> I just yeah. I can't explain why I don't like it. I just when it comes up, I'm like, no. yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Maybe I'm too used to it. Yeah, that might be the reason. So, what do you think of the single player? How much have you played it? I've now beaten the second boss, and that's it. But I'm a big fan of Captain Cutfish. Yes, you are. <laughs> Check out his artwork at Tom Roach Twenty and the Art. Yes, and Instagram Thomas Roach Twenty Thirteen. It's on there. All right. Find me. You're starting an empire. Yeah, hopefully. No, but I think um, all the carrot, like, just... This is all about gameplay at the end of the day, always. Yeah. But this colourful world and this dark world, essentially, mm. from what you discover. But the characters are really colourful, they're unique, and they're all... Pro- like, there's that drug dealer, and then you've got mm-hmm. the... Except Kali and Marley can go... <laughs> I like how they always oh, go I'm so fed up for seeing Callie and Marley. I'm pretty fed up for seeing them as well, yeah. Yeah. They're a little bit annoying. I just, I don't understand the need for that either. Like, yeah, why do we need the just... news thing every 10 minutes? Yeah. Well, not every 10 minutes, but every time the maps change, like, why can't they, why can't we just go into the lobby and see the maps are different? Yeah. It's <laughs> like, what's this oh. to try and, I guess that's for the children who play it. Yeah. Like, they like these I Let's guess, be honest. I guess, yeah. I don't um, think the majority of people who bought Splatoon are kids. I'm just saying yeah. it right now. I'm nothing to base that off, <laughs> but I just don't I think mean, it is. You might be right, actually. I think, but I mean, maybe that's actually because maybe we think that because actually we're in this world where we talk about these games, yeah. and then we only talk to the people who are old enough to talk on the internet maybe, about these games yeah, in maybe. actual depth. It's hard mm. to not really but, know but it just by what we experience. I wouldn't imagine. Well, you, know, you see these like eight year olds who are cold and then they like scream their heads. Well, off. yeah, of course. But I can't imagine kids, well, children who ended up getting a Wii U. I think that if you were, if that was like, no, I wanted an Xbox for all you. But if they would play competitively online. I, I was just think, about to bring that up, actually. I think this is the perfect. I think this is the perfect game for kids to start that sort of... Uh, Indoctrinate you know, them. Into the yeah, world. exactly. <laughs> I've, I've actually read a couple of articles where parents have actually used... You know, pe- uh, kids have said, oh, I want to you know, play on my shoes or something like that. And um, the parents have actually bought Splatoon for them and they've just loved it. So that's, it. that's interesting, that is. Because um, I just think, like... Maybe, yeah, maybe parents are doing that, but I don't think Nintendo, like, no matter how it's been marketed, I don't think Nintendo made this game for kids. Oh, I no, think they no, made no, it no, for yeah. the people uh, that yeah. want Nintendo to have a kind of oh, competitive God, yeah. shooter. Oh, yeah, it's a, yeah, they made it for Nintendo fans. And like yeah. you said, I can't imagine some kid would, like, 
picking it up, picking it up to play online competitively. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's something doing, that will birth a competitive. Yeah, uh, I can see them wanting to the single player because single player is awesome. Mm. Very Mario Galaxy, which is single player is actually really cool. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Um, just going through all the different worlds, each world having this unique puzzle to solve. Yeah. Um, granted, you know, not incredibly difficult puzzles. Um, the single player is very easy. In fact, to be honest, it's not difficult at all. Yeah. Um, I think I've only had a one moment where I died and I was just like, oh, I can't be fucked. Yeah. No spoilers, but the last boss is incredible. Though. The last boss is fantastic. Yeah, it's really good. It's almost, yeah, it's all, all, all we're going to say, but you have to just complete it. Just, yeah, you have to just complete it just yeah. to get to the last boss. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> well, just um, going back to, um, like, children not playing it, I think that. It's not the sort of because Nintendo don't advertise their games that much. I mean, I've seen Splatoon ads on TV. They're I mean, actually really yeah. pushing this game in terms of advertising. Well, they might be now, but Nintendo aren't known for their. No, they actually like made it known that they were really pushing yeah, Splatoon as a game. They like they were really vocal about it. Mm -hmm. The only time I remember, the only time I remember so much Wii U advertising was Mario Kart. Yeah, it was exactly. everywhere. Yeah. Oh man, they didn't even bother with Smash Bros. They yeah. did a little bit, but it like Mario Kart 8 had adverts all the time. Like it was all over YouTube and everything. Yeah. No, I've seen a couple of Splatoon. I haven't seen that ma that many, but I have seen a few. Yeah. And um, it does pop up everywhere on the internet. Like I go onto something, yeah. like, something like Smash Balls and just all over. All the background is Splatoon. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, guess, like, I guess for to for it to be advertised to children is more difficult. Like I think if you are a Nintendo fan. They they sort of treat you right, or they'll send it directly to you. It's funny, um, but you know you've got the you've got the um, Miiverse, you've got um, Nintendo Direct. But I can't imagine children are like, oh, let's watch Nintendo Direct this afternoon. That's a yeah, exactly. One. Yeah. So I kind of think that I agree. This isn't. It's 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 um, suitable for children. But it's not made for children. Yeah. In fairness, when you really think about it, uh, I'm going slightly off topic, not quite. Um, to put like kids' products. I don't ever see them advertised like they used to. Yeah, but you're probably not watching like children's shows. Well, I guess things. they probably are on children's. But like, even if you just watched the BBC, you'd see kids' things come up, and I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just not targeted yeah, okay. at the time anymore. But. Yeah. It just, just seems to me we don't know it, so I guess. It just seems to me that it's just not I remember like toys just to travel to travel to travel 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 all the time and these just I don't know. That might have something to do the channels. It might be yeah. Who knows? But uh, Who knows? yeah. So I think we're all very happy with Splatoon. Definitely. Very Based happy. on what you've played so far, if you had to put a rating on the game, what would you give? No, I don't like ratings. What do you give it? I give it a solid eight. Yeah, so do I. I give it an eight as well. Eight's fair. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a fair shout. Actually. I think when every bit of content that's been given to the game, it could even go to nine. Yeah, I saw. I I wouldn't even want to. Like, I mean, I don't like reviews anyway. I don't. No, I like reviews. I don't like scores. I like to see positives and negatives on things. You know, that's one of these people. Yeah, sorry. Um, number means nothing to me. Um, <laughs> I want to see. Once everything's out, yeah, everything's out. You know, we've got. We're just waiting for top of paid DLC and you know that stuff like that. Okay, rather than scores, fine. Because I think we should do this at the end of each one of these. Fine. Would you recommend Splatoon? Yes. Yeah, I would. Yeah, we'd all recommend Splatoon. Definitely. Every game we recommend. Go and buy every it. game a recommendation. Yeah. But then we always have to recommend buying a Wii U. Which most people probably don't. I recommend buying a Wii U because great the games on there is amazing. Don't tell them. Go and watch the <laughs> April debate where Matt violently puts up a poor effort. <laughs> but Splatoon is definitely worth it. And if they've yeah. had the parties and when we've got more maps, I think not a perfect game, but a fun game, one you're gonna play competitively and stick lots of hours mm -hmm. into. Yeah. Cool. Alright. So this is the social media review, basically. We type in something topical into Twitter and see what crazy responses the internet can come up with. Uh, this time we're doing Uncharted, because today, uh, at the time of recording, the Uncharted remaster collection, the Nathan Drake collection, uh, got uh, got leaked onto the internet, and then Sony decided, fuck it, we're just going to review it anyway. So 
Let's see if the internet has anything funny to say. In particular, I like the Russian. YouTube video. That was in Russian, but it has some funny clipping going on. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's a good knowledge what's happening there. Um, we seen the trailer. The trailer's cool. I haven't actually seen the trailer. I guess we should probably watch this. Yep. To, uh, have you seen otherwise. it? No, I've not seen it. Just, I just not much happens when we're not going to get over I think it's Sally talking, but. Beyond the world we know, there are lost civilizations filled with priceless treasures and artifacts of unimaginable power. Explorers, mercenaries, and conquerors fought and died in search of these prizes. So how is it that a small-time thief succeeded where these others failed? Was he smart? Lucky? A hero? Depends on who you ask. But all he really wanted was to make a name for himself. I'm looking forward to this because I've only played uh, Drake's Inception. Yeah, so have I. I played half of Among Thieves as well. I will probably get this when it comes out, I think. Yeah. It's it's all being remastered at 1080p and 60 frames per second. It's well. just. That, which is awesome. That game, uh, I mean, 3 was beautiful in the PS3. Yeah. I, I remember was an incredible thinking, game. Oh my god, that game looks fantastic. You've played, I played all, all of them? Yeah. Um, one was still very good. I remember the adverts on the TV. I think one's meant to be the worst, isn't it? Yeah, I would say it goes up. Actually, no, I think two is the best. And I've heard one, three, two, yeah. Yeah, but people will defend three. Yeah. But I think t two is. I think two is the best story and just sort of the best. Well, I look forward to. Uh, it just has something. So don't, uh, don't quote me on this, but I believe Greg Miller giving Uncharted three a ten on IGN from the most controversial reviews I've ever had. Possibly. I uh, wouldn't know much about that, to be honest. No, I think he did give it. He did, I think, yeah, yeah but yeah. it was really controversial. Yeah. Um, so, this is interesting. Uncharted's multiplayer wasn't anything special, and I'd give, pe I'd, I'd give people less of give people less of Thank you. I never played Uncharted's multiplayer because you had to use stupid online parties back in the day. Um, but what she's talking about here is the fact that they're not including the multiplayer in the collection. Are they not? No, you only get the single player. Ah, that's a shame. Because actually, I did play um, 3's multiplayer for a bit. I really quite liked it. I didn't think it was anything special. And I think if you buy Uncharted, you're not playing. You're not paying for it to play online. You're paying well, for it to play. Of course, story, yeah. of course. It wouldn't surprise me. Go on. You know, to say for me, it did. It was. It did remind me of a sort of like a PS4 take on Gears of War multiplayer. Okay, interesting. It wouldn't surprise me if they were like learning from the mistakes of the Master Chief Collection and just not bothering yeah, with it, because that completely just messed up that release. Yeah. Um, and so they're just focusing on the storyline. And you do get into the into the uh, multiplayer beta for four anyway. No, oh, right, yeah. Well, that's alright. Yeah. Look, honestly, don't care about multiplayer and Uncharted in my yeah. opinion. Fair enough. I mean, they're right. It wasn't anything to scream and shout about. Um, I tell you what, though, this is a really good game for PlayStation to get the Uncharted collection because it is looking a little bit bare for PlayStation, as I admitted in the debate this year. But it's very cool that uh, we're actually getting this. So this guy here, do people really buy these these types of games? I'm like, no, 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 no. It's it's a big story <laughs> rather than nothing. And if you got the three games, you've got if, even if you just play the game. Each game for once, you're probably yeah. looking at 30 hours of yeah. content plus. This is an interesting tweet. Bethesda announces Fallout 4 and Sony announces Uncharted Collection. Is it E3 already or what? We, we're getting. Um, That's the problem. Uh, yeah. That's I mean, the problem with like the week right. before E3. Everything just gets leaked. So if you don't want to know anything up when E3 comes around, get off the internet until the 15th, basically. Or, you know, rewind this and pretend this didn't happen. Sorry. Well, yeah. <laughs> even in the last year. Films have leaked, release dates mm. have leaked for yeah, lots of I mean, projects, so not just games. I think when, uh, because of the internet, I mean we've had the internet for years, but it's people so will find 
anything and they will share it. There was a leaked script yeah. from Fallout 4 and that was now confirmed to be true because of what was said in the trailer, obviously. Yeah. And that was about six months ago that got leaked. We've got some hashtag fan going on here. Yeah, people seem, to be, people seem to be more excited about the fact you're getting into the beta for four yeah. hours. Yeah, that's, I mean, that is pretty cool. Yeah. No, I'm excited. Um, I think it'll be done really well. Obviously, it's not being made by Naughty Dog, but it doesn't really matter. They're just turning the colour up, basically. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. And making it run nice. HD, yeah. 60 FPS is the main thing. I'll say, when I play, I replayed one a few years ago. I think it came out 2007. Mm. I think I tried it again in probably about 2012. Mm. And after playing 2 and 3, you realise how slow it feels. Ah, okay. So the fact that they're redoing it... Then it makes me wonder what other, yeah. uh, what other collections we're going to get. Because they've revealed God of War 3, but it really is weird that they're only going to do the third one. It would really surprise me if they didn't do 1 and 2 as well. Same with Gears of War, actually, they've only revealed they're doing the first. We are getting into this age at the moment of uh, remastered. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, though, I haven't got a problem with it. I don't know, not at all. Um, There's plenty of games that, for example, all of us. I never played Last of Us on PS3. I don't yeah, play exactly, like yeah. did either. Or did you? No, no, I never played it on PS3. No, Last of Us. Oh, last night, no. Yeah, so and that was like everyone was like, oh, it's such a big deal. But I, yeah. I waited. Oh, oh yeah. yeah that's the thing with the PS3 is that when you, especially when you compare it to the PS2. It didn't sell as well, yeah. so lots of people haven't played like every game, and the PS3 had critically accla acclaimed exclusives, yeah. like so many amazing first-party studios worked on the PS3, and not as many people played them as people yeah, should have done. Yeah, there's so many PS3 games yeah. I've never played because, well, uh, uh, pr probably what five years through, I switched over to 360. Yeah, no, I was a 360 right. all of last gen basically. Yeah, um, until the summer before. Don't know just perfect before I try it next year. Richard Schmitz. CD mostly plays, I'm trying to do the story. Well, who doesn't? <laughs> I think if you play it for the multiplayer, you're very easily in play <laughs> Yeah. I think you're missing some other fair, games. <laughs> um, Last of Us had really good multiplayer. Last of Us did have some amazing multiplayer. I've never been able to play it, so no one else plays it anymore. No, they don't. Well, they probably put the remastered one. No, no one plays it. I've tried to get into. Oh, it's just like it's it's crazy. crazy. It's bigger. Because Nathan Drake is a bigger name than Uncharted. That's interesting. Although that's that's technically no offence, a rubbish tweet because they've called it Uncharted the Nathan Drake trilogy so connection. So who said? And Uncharted is in massive font. So yeah, it's kind of like yeah. <laughs> it's just the name of the collection. Yeah. And all the other uh, all the other titles like Drake's Fortune. Yeah, exactly. Drake's um, I said, Thieves is the old one, but. I saw someone uh, say this poster looks like the advert for like clone or something. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, I could imagine that. I've got no idea who he is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just this random presidential debate. I'm glad there's not a weird video this week of like some guy pretending to be Drake or something. Oh yeah, that was. Cool. Yeah, I feel like we're missing it. Like, <laughs> I feel like we need a bit. <laughs> they didn't take a chance to call and charge you the Master Thief collection. Yeah, that would have been brilliant. Master Thief collection, that would be good. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, definitely. I think we're. Well, do you think if um, honestly, because, well, I don't really know about this. I was ask you, but if four had have had its October or supposed October release date, would this have come out? Yeah, uh, yeah. Or it'd have come out right now. Around now, yeah. No, uh, I'm not sure they would have. They would have waited and. When four came out, maybe I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't know. But that's a social media review this time. Yep, sounds good. Hopefully it works better than last time. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Avery Game Chat. Uh, as always, leave us a comment in the comment boxes below, and don't forget to subscribe to Avery Game on YouTube. This is where we are now these days. Pretty much, uh, Twitch is dead to us, I'm afraid. But uh, yeah, all our content is now here on YouTube. Uh, we've hit 50 subs, so thank you everyone who subscribed to us for that. We really appreciate your support. Um, but yeah, that's it for up from the 8-Bit Gaming team this time. I'm Tom Powell, your host, Tom Roach and Matt Stevens. Yeah, goodbye everyone. Goodbye. You know, if you get a t-shirt that says, just says Twitch is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Twitch is dead to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have 8-Bit Gaming logo on top.